wildfire season seems to be upon us, and everyone can agree it's extremely early. Within days, Colorado's fires are the most destructive in its state history, and here in Wyoming, we are all too familiar with those horrendous flames. Topping our news this evening, the fire continues to burn on Casper Mountain, and as of right now, there is no end in sight. For people on Casper Mountain, residents who lost their homes, it still seems like yesterday. The Sheep Herder Hill fire lasted nearly a week, consumed around 15,000 acres, and a total of about three dozen structures were destroyed. And today, people in Colorado are reliving the nightmare of so many from Casper Mountain. It started like getting black and getting a little bigger. So we just hurried home and started like packing up all the stuff. Last summer, the Waldo Canyon fire in Colorado ripped through 350 homes, making it the most destructive in state history. Now, one year later, history repeats itself, only worse. And it happened in a matter of days compared to weeks. We have right now 360 homes that are complete losses. The Colorado fires are the beginning to a very early fire season and a warning sign to Wyomingites of what could come. We're not as a bad situation like Colorado is right now, but we're going to quickly get there unless we get some rain and we haven't had any, you know, we get the drying winds and hot weather that doesn't help. County officials say now is the time to start preparing, making sure you have defensible space around your home, trimmed trees and everything flammable away from your house. It's still a little bit green here, but it's drying out fast and people need to make a plan. They need to have a plan for their family. They need to have a plan for household pets, for livestock, um, and they need to uh, do those mitigation activities around their homes, whether they're in a forested area or whether they're out, you know, in the flats or on the prairie, if you will. They need to, to make those mitigation activities now. Now, Natrona County officials say typical fire season starts around July 4th, but the warm, dry, and windy weather doesn't help this early start to the fire season. They do plan on putting a fire ban in place. They just aren't sure yet the extent of the ban and when. Reporting from the studio, Liz Cooper, K2 News.